Greetings, I would like to take you through a tutorial on how to book a jumbo jet flight in Kenya. Do a Google search, check out jumbo jet and this will redirect you to the jumbo jet homepage. Once you're there, you can see a few options, book your flight, check in or manage my booking and you have one way you have the round trip and then you have the Malta city and in this case I'd like us to make a one-way booking from Nairobi you can see you have different options there to Kisumu once you do that you have the option of checking out the dates so what date would you like to travel jumbo jet as you can see the prices are constant most of the times once you choose the date you then go on to choose how many people are traveling on jumbo jet in this case one adult no children okay and you can see you have an option of adding the number of people or just choosing no people at all you can do four adults three adults ten adults or you can just do one adult once you do that let us search the flights And this now will redirect us to what flights are available on Thursday, the 18th of July. You have a 6 a.m. flight, you have a 9.10 flight, you have a 12.50 p.m. flight, 3.30 and 6.25 p.m. So you get to choose one flight and as you can see, they all cost the same. That is Kenya shillings 7,000. So you get to choose what flight you love. So I got to choose the 12.50 p.m. flight. And then you have the option of choosing the basic or the smart. So this is in terms of what's your preference while flying. You can check out what that entails so from 12.50 to 150 that is one hour and the basic package at Kenya shilling 7000 read and accept the terms and conditions and then let's see now we have to input the passenger data Please enter your passenger details and ensure that the name on your booking matches the name on your passport or ID. The title is Mrs. First name is Jane. Middle name is Doe. And then the surname. As Kenyan, let's use Kenyan instead of Kenya, the country. Let's just use Kenyan. What is Jane Doe's date of birth? You can see that the date of birth, the system has a preset, um, a preset. Let's try this. The system has a prefect, preset format for the date of birth. So once you try to use the one stroke one, it doesn't go through. So you just type the numbers 0101 and the system automatically sets up the date for you. What's your nationality? Jendo is Kenyan. And then document type, identification card, and what's your document number? 
I have to use a random number here. This is not the real identification card number. Do you have a loyalty member number? No. So let's enter your passenger details and ensure that the name on your booking matches the name on your passport. So on this, you just copy details of passenger one because this is the only person that's traveling. And now when we come to the phone number, this is a Kenyan phone number. And then we input that. Remember that this is a random number, so you don't have to try and call that. <laughs> What's your email address? That's another random email address. At email.com. Confirm the email address. Okay, then the address. This is the physical address. So let's input that. Once again, that is a random address. And what's your country? Kenya. What's your town or city? Let's do Nairobi. And then you click on next. Okay, so you can see the cost is Kenya shillings, 7,000. Okay. Now let's book the add-on services. These are services you can pay for um, just in case you need them. As you can see, we have meals, special assistance, we have special baggage, extra baggage, and seats. So once you add any service, it may affect the cost of the ticket okay so on this i did not choose any so um i have no extra cost on my ticket now here's how to pay you can pay using a credit card you can pay with m-pesa you can pay by mobile means of payment down there tanzania drc and Uganda providers so accept the terms and conditions this is in case you're using the card but now I'd love to pay later with M-Pesa so this um, now prompts us and we are requested to expect an SMS with instructions on how to pay once you enter your mobile number, you will start receiving prompts um, reminding you to pay. Your booking is currently on hold and will be confirmed once you have completed payment. Okay. And here are the ticket details from Nairobi to Kisumu at 12.50 p.m. And this is the total amount that you're supposed to pay. So the booking is on hold. Please complete the payment or it will be cancelled automatically. Okay. So payment details, mobile payment, payment date is that, payment status is that, price in currency is Kenya shilling 7,000. How many people are traveling? We have Jane Doe down there and all her details. So we have one adult and no children, okay? And this is Jane Doe. So once you pay, you get to receive your ticket um, via email. All right, have a safe flight.